So the cross has brought a lot of people out for sunrise service at Easter. I believe the crowds are over 3,000 people up here. And they hike up and have a sunrise service right there on those steps and the surrounding area. A couple different ways up at the top here. Here's the path we'll go down. We kind of came around the back side. I don't know what it is about this place. It really brings me peace. I um, prefer that it wasn't paved. But I understand it's easier for kids and baby strollers and older people to come up, but uh, you know, I prefer off-road. Good morning. Good morning. We'll go up these uh, steps here and go read the plaque. It's all kinds of historical plaques. Got the flag and then the Peace Tower right to the right of it, where we just came from. Got me huffing and puffing today. Like I said, a whole lot of history. Look at this, it was done by a blacksmith, which was kind of the, uh, the builder of our society. Think about things, you come into a small town, you wanted to build a house, you had to go to the blacksmith first to get, uh, get your nails made, and uh, hinges or anything that's gonna work as a window or a door or a shutter, the uh, blacksmith would make it also. I guess that's why I found an interest in blacksmithing and uh, in metalwork. It's kind of funny with my metalwork. Welding was one of my first processes, uh, cutting and welding. And uh, it took me probably 10, maybe 10 years to kind of get into the whole blacksmith thing and build a forge and go from there. Another plaque, I don't know if I've seen this one. I was looking in a different direction. Beginning of civilization in California, October 12, 1909 AD. Kind of cool. Let's see if I can get that all in the picture. If I'm going too fast, just hit pause or slow down the video, do some reading. You've got the Mission Inn that's in uh, Riverside, which is a big draw place to. Uh, stay overnight our original mission and uh, yeah, have a great Sunday buffet <laughs> uh, yeah you want to talk food I always uh, always appreciate good food takes a little bit to power this big body and then back down to our bike path and then where we're heading next is kind of uh, right there where it's green down and to our right that would be Fairmont Park and that's another really super cool place to uh, to go check out. And uh, that's where I work my technical riding. You know, um, sometimes I do mountain biking. Sometimes I do uh, the bicycle trail to urban and play in parks and schools and colleges. You know, but, uh, here's some more uh, homeless encampments. Let's see if I can zoom in a little more. Right there with the blue tarps. 
And there's quite a few more, some disguised over here in the uh, in the bush. But, uh, like I said, I don't know if homeless is the right, uh, right, right word to use for them. Displaced housing, campers, I don't know what to actually call them. But uh, for the most part, like I've said, I haven't had any, uh, any issues. Um, always friendly. I try to say good morning to everyone I'm in contact with, whether you're digging in a uh, garbage can or uh, driving your Mercedes. And I'll tell you what, the guy digging in his garbage can, 99% always says good morning. A lot of times the guy driving the uh, expensive car in the business suit won't even uh, give you the time of day. And I think that's terrible. I like to think of myself that uh, any sport I do as an ambassador and uh, Try to make the best for it so uh, for instance I'm riding up here on the uh, on the high bike today and I can go faster and especially on the downhill descents you could hit 50 miles an hour going down but there's all these people so it's better to, to slow your, your pace up say good morning and uh, don't uh, make a disturbance for uh, for the people on here be kind and courteous uh, to the people you come in cross, uh, contact with anyway that's it for now and uh, See you as we're coming into Fairmont Park.